these cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. Yeah, 70% water. <laughs> As I suspected, SL9 isn't over. Not yet. Wow, just like with DL6. Really, though? Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? What? No? <laughs> uh... No? Uh, apparently not? Well, maybe in her dialogue. Like, if you try oh, to talk Oh, you're right, you're her. right, you're right. I always forget about that. Nope. Really? Nope. Uh, what about the note? What about... Or do you but she showed up the note. Thing? I think we'd just do the same thing. What about the photo? Okay. E to present. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room, but... Even I get flustered sometimes. Oh, the timing wise. I see, I see. So you went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime? Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I've had my testimony disregarded before, and I wasn't going to have it disregarded again just like that time that time okay maybe now we have that time whoa there it is okay there we go that incident really opened up my eyes to the truth when nothing to them disposable Disposable? To who? Two years ago. It was the biggest case I'd ever handled. I get that a lot. Oh! Hmm. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. There's another cowboy here. Look at this man. He's hiding underneath the text, but he's there. It seems to be a theme. Wonder if it's, uh, Meekins. I don't think it's Meekins. He was kind of suspicious. So, they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Oh, God. Jeez. E executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. Uh-oh. The only problem was they never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. This... That's an issue. This is... Scary. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort. Ma'am, what does that mean? Up evidence. They fabricated. Oh, there we go. Yeah. They fabricated evidence to frame someone or to just get a guilty verdict, and that's why she hates prosecutors. Uh, what? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? Your conscience must be guilty <laughs> as hell! The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen. Others found themselves out of a job. Patrolmen, you say? Looks like we're having just desserts, but for lunch. <laughs> and you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait! Could it be? Huh, exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. Oops. I mean, Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. It's a Jake lengthy Marshall. title. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted. Goodman was still a detective. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't? Forgotten? SL-9? There was another side to that case. A hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait, those lunches you sell. There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends, that can help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriend? How many does she have, anyway? Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection! So, Rookie. What? what It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes, of course. Then you should take this. A Salisbury steak lunch? Looks real good, actually. That one I- ooh, hmm. I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Oh! Oh, it's for Officer Marshall. Aww. To be fair, I don't blame him. Steak is amazing. Um, 
Miss Star? Well, I agree steak is amazing. If they really, really wanted to push the country vibe, they couldn't have done country fried steak. Like, come on. <laughs> like, come on. Missed opportunity. <laughs> With total missed opportunity. Now, hold on, man. How do you think they fry steak in the country? Like chicken. Country fried? <laughs> they like... fry it Salisbury style. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Marshall, is he your, uh, are you his? Are you g g going out? Emma, you're, you're 16. This is like elementary school right here. Come on. This is like watching a drama unfold before my eyes. That's all I care about. Why do you want to know? I, I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. Oh. Oh? And he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. Hmm. But now, now he's so cold. Hmm. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. Translation. They f- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. All right, I think that's it for you, lady. Do we want to spray more? It did kind of tell us to. Okay. I'm stumbling over what she was saying. <laughs> yeah, we're just cooperating. Horizontally. Oh, God. Okay, if I do this. No. And I do this, <laughs> and I click E to spray. Oh, nice. Oh, well. We got something. This blood must be from when Lana. No, my sister isn't the murderer. But she did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime? Technically, yes. And her right hand is bandaged. Hey, just whose side are you on? I'm trying to see if this is her blood or his. This has nothing to do with taking sides. So this means that Lana's hand had blood on it. Oh, it's her blood. That's the blood that dripped at the trunk of the car as well. She cut her hand and a little uh -huh. bit of blood. And then that's her trying to grasp the phone with her bloody hand, trying to type the number in with her bloody hand. It just keeps getting worse. No, it I think really that's does. good. I think that's probably it. I'm glad I have unlimited spray. <laughs> yeah, that's a plus. All right. Mm, I guess we'll go see Marshall, I guess? Uh, yeah. yeah, we could go see Marshall. We do have the steak. Yeah, so we'll go to the police department. The only dun, dun. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. Oh, my God. I, I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed here after all. Allegedly. Allegedly. We literally don't have a body. So the evidence evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is! She's like a kid in a music park. Oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. We were just at one and you got woozy. <laughs> I don't, there's probably gonna be a lot more blood here. Second time's the charm. Guard station? Yeah, that looks right. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. This has a new opening oh sound. When you god. enter the office, just like. Oh, for real. <laughs> February 23rd, Evidence Room Entrance, Guard <laughs> Station. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trap at the elevator. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Oh Say what you God. will about the man. He's got good taste in decor. Oh my God. I don't think it's legal to have this amount of alcohol at your guard station. It is it's probably legal hard, to have though. it there. Just can't drink it on the oh, job. Oh, he's drinking it on he's the job. He's drinking on the job. <laughs> he's drinking it on the job. He's totally. Oh my God. What's with the decor in this place? It's very uh, eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. I can't get over the, the last so trap. I'm dying about the trip trap. Mr. Wright, surely you came in here before when you were investigating DL6 and had to go to the evidence room? Uh, no, I realize now that that was the files area, and so beyond this door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime. I've never actually been there before. Well, it sure seems that way. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly, so imposing. Hard to think straight. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. Uh, so the saying goes. But uh, what all I want to know is if this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is 
already. Yeah, I mean, we gotta examine now. <laughs> Trap. All of it. <laughs> the trap. <laughs> Look on the floor. A lasso. Hmm. Looks like it's set up to trap something. A trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here, but the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. That she does. Yikes. Oh, they sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. They are Suaguaro. Gazuntite. <laughs> well, the big I ones are. I love that he's using it as a hat rack. Yeah, that concerns me. I would think just one big one would have been sufficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. Yes, yeah, 70% water. <laughs> I mean, how so? Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. Yeah, it got <laughs> deeper than I expected, but I I'm not so sure. I see the resemblance. Yeah, I always felt like if I put my hand on my sister, it would hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Like, y you won't get pricked from touching her. I love when our banter ends up being literally answered by the dialogue. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, good. It happens a lot. It does. There's a security guard uniform hanging here. Is that what you're gonna call Doesn't it? Doesn't look like any security guard uniform I've ever seen. Yeah, because it looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. Leather jacket? Leather pants? A leather... Poncho? Oh, I didn't need to see that. I'm only 16. Oh, God. What was that called again? It's a poncho. No, a, a poncho. A punchy? A ponchy. A pinchy? I know, a poochie! No, no, stop! A poncho! A poncho! Come on! Mm. P-O- hey, maybe that wasn't it. <laughs> poncho! It's a poncho! But I apparently think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. <laughs> Not sure why. Oh, well. It looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. That's how they know he died. They watched him play dead. There's also a light blinking below the monitor. It says- Recording. <laughs> Let's just turn that off while we go inside, shall we? <laughs> I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of there. Apparently not. La la la. Oh. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. We can't. There's a trap. We have to disable it. It won't open. Uh, yeah, that too. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Okay, we have to- has that ever stopped you? This swinging door makes the place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. Can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through the here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch! That's exactly what I was thinking. You would run into the cactus. Uh, it's a guard cactus. I'd say it'd be more of a yarg myself. Never make that noise again. <laughs> but how are the cowboy pirates supposed to react when they're injured? It says Texas on it. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so we not only agree that the creators looked at a wiki of Western slang, threw it into his dialogue, they also looked at a bunch of Western movies, said, yes, uh, alcohol, cow skulls, cactus, and Texas. saloon. Perfect. Wait. Throw Wait. it all in his office. Mars, I don't mean any disrespect here, but is that not how your room looks right now? No. Wait, very hold much on. Not. I'm just going to ask a random person in the audience. Isn't that what your room looks like right now? In the meantime, this place is charged with frantic energy as always. Was it that? Oh. It's oh. best boy. One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe, did you think I was the lunch lady? <laughs> Now's no time for chit-chat, pal. I'm a busy man. Are we going to give him you the steak lunch very instead? different physique. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. Oh. Well, but, but I thought we were pals. <laughs> oh. I feel so bad now. I think he just heard the sound of his heart breaking. That was the sound of my uh, heart breaking. We've caught a criminal. Now we just need evidence. That's not how it works, Gumshoe. The, the criminal, you mean... You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? <laughs> it's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy-turvy. Or as I would say, hoopty loopty. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal. All I know is I need me a steak lunch pronto. Sitting around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. Oh, bye. I would have given it to you. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us. We're live 9 p.m. Eastern, Twitch, and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time. And Meowth, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs>